See him standing. 264. See him? You ready? I'll stop him. I am Jordan Bud, and we are heading to the Hawaiian island of Lanai to hunt Axis deer. Axis deer were introduced to the islands as an offering to King Kamehameha from the Emperor of China in 1860. They were once thought of as a gift, but now with booming populations, they are now somewhat of a nuisance. The mild, year-round climate on Lanai is a perfect place for these deer to thrive. In fact, they don't seem to have the defined seasons like I'm used to. There are bucks with velvet still on their antlers as others are running around rutting does. The overabundance of the deer impacts native plants, causes erosion of the soil, and harms the watershed and reefs that the island relies on. I was drawn to the Axis deer for its tender, highly renowned meat and being able to hunt them in such a tropical place like Hawaii was a very easy sell for me. I saw them throw my gun case uh, out of the plane, so I thought it'd be a pretty good idea to come check zero. A little left to right adjustment and I feel pretty good, we're good to go. On this trip, I will be hunting with the Pineapple Brothers, a guiding business on the island. Going to a completely new place and hunting a new species, I decided a guide would be well worth having for such a short hunt. Typically, I'm the one that's doing the guiding, but I'm welcoming the help from native Lanai resident Alec Piscua, who has been guiding on the island for 33 years. The big flat that we can see here, you guys call that the Serengeti? Yes, it's all this, we're all former pineapple fields. Our last harvest, I believe, was in 1991. All the pineapples for Dole yes. came from mm -hmm. here. And then now it's just full of, what, what brush would you call that? I just call it deer habitat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Formerly, Lanai was owned entirely by the Dole Corporation producing pineapples. Only 2% of the island was ever developed, so what results is basically a big nature preserve with 48,000 huntable acres. We've seen probably 30 deer so far. They're just coming out of the brush and into some more open fields where they can feed. And then my understanding is they go back into the brush in the morning after they feed just a little bit. It's a lot more brushy than I thought it was going to be. I feel like it's going to be hard to keep track of them and get around to try to make a play. What are we looking for, antler-wise? Um, something close to 30 inches or better. Yeah, we're just trying to like see when we want to go after and then try to get to them without running through a bunch of other ones. Yes, right? correct. Yeah. yeah. So we're just going to walk up? Yes, get ahead of them, hopefully, and see what we can find. Yeah, cool. The overabundance of the deer impacts native plants, and farmers on the island actually have to fence their crops to keep the deer out. Yeah, this is all farmland. This is for keep the deer out <laughs> from going in. Yeah, so local farmlands. Him first, but you can see you only get so many places to see him. Try to 
move slowly so you can see around this corner. The pineapple fields are all grown up with vegetation now. It's all super thick and those deer move a lot more than like your typical whitetail does. There, going up the hill right here. It's hill. These axis deer really seem like they were always on a mission. They hardly ever stopped. That hill is 264. Yeah, it's gotta watch that light. Oh, that's a good buck. See him? See him standing, broadside? Oh yeah. How far is it? 264. See him? Kind of moving to the left. Yeah, that one standing broadside, right, looking right to left. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. These guys know wait. I'll stop them. You ready? You on him? Woo! Hit. Right on the shoulder. Right think. on the shoulder. Yeah. yeah, perfect. If he was going to walk another 10 feet, he would have been yeah. gone in the brush. And who knows if you ever would have seen him again. I had to stop him first. Yeah. <laughs> Before I even asked if he was ready. Hopefully she gets on him. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll just go see if we can find him, huh? Yeah, let's go for a walk. Oh, he was over there, isn't he? Yeah, above the road. You notice know they don't bleed, huh? This is kind of what you look for on a red dirt like this. Oh, yeah. It gets so mixed in, you can't even tell it's blood. Very good looking buck. Perfect shot. It can happen fast. Yeah, can. I think you gotta take opportunities oh. as they present themselves to you. Oh yeah. Whether it's on the first day or the last. I mean, <laughs> yeah, don't you know pass I mean? something on the first day. Yeah. You, you wouldn't shoot them. For sure. Well, field dress it. Okay. And we're kind of locked out because it's close to one of those roads, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just drag him right to it. Yeah. yeah. I have to admit, it's been kind of nice having the tables turned and Alec doing the guiding. Okay, how do you want to do this? Let's go. Yeah. I want to preserve this deer's hide as much as possible. So we stuff him in a large game bag to add some protection while we drag him down to the road. It's all downhill, so. Yeah. So Edward, this is Jordan. Hey, nice Good to meet morning. you. Morning. Edward is one of the island's only deer processors, so he is a very busy guy. I'm here to drop off my buck and try to understand what the axis deer means to the local population. It's a nice hide, actually. Yeah. I have a slight fetish on hides. Yeah. Even if you ask Alec, we're out there hunting meat. Yeah. And I'm just looking at hides. <laughs> Since there are so many deer on the island, do you guys see any sicknesses that run through them that'll kill a lot of them just because there are so many, you know? Honestly, it's more not enough food for them. Yeah. Out there. Got it. There's plenty of water, it's just not enough food for the 15,000 or so head of yeah. deer. Is hunting for locals a big deal? Like, are there a lot of locals that oh, they, yes. they rely on that for Yes, meat? a lot. Yeah. Probably like 80 to 90% of them. Yeah. Rely on it for meat. Community hunting is a huge part of Lanai's culture and the native Hawaiian heritage. Edward told me that most people actually get their meat from their neighbors who hunt and not the store. And in fact, the stores don't even carry meat unless a special event calls for it. There you go. It's a little heavy. It is pretty heavy. Super nice, huh? 
So we're gonna do it like a rug with this to put mm -hmm. on the back of the couch, I think. Yep. Do you have a lot of people that do that? Oh yeah. Do stuff with the hides? A yeah, lot. they're super cool. I've seen pillows, I saw stools yep. and stuff online. It's really up to your imagination on yeah. what you want to do with it. Thank you. No problem. Looks Thank great. you. Yeah. These axis deer aren't faced with the predators to live with every day like our deer on the mainland are. No predators along with a mild climate results in pretty easy living conditions and very conducive to reproduction. So a doe could live 10 to 15 years. In her lifetime, she could give birth to 10 to 12 fawns, 50% being female. Each of those five daughters can produce five daughters over their lifetimes. So you can see how this can spiral out of control very quickly with devastating effects to native plant species and agriculture. Because of this, a main focus has been increasing the number of does harvested through hunting. Their call sounds like a white tail snorkies. Yeah. Shot my buck yesterday pretty early. And now I can still shoot a doe, so we're out looking for a doe. And there's some kind of in front of us, but they just jet back and forth so fast. It's like hard to get set up in time. You ready? Probably cross too fast. Yeah. From the flats, it kind of goes up to a mountain. Hopefully, we can catch him moving up. It's supposed to rain today. And that makes him come off the hill. Oh, it makes them to force them to feed. Oh, got it. Because yeah. they once like to be always right. They just hunker down and be miserable. Yeah. Like us. There were some deer in front of us that we knew were gonna come through this little opening. And even though we knew they were gonna come through the opening, they jetted through so fast that there was no opportunity for a shot. All of a sudden they were out to 260 and we had to completely shift and get ready for a shot out there. We can catch up to them and shoot them on the gulch. You know, I see more deer in a day than I did in the last 20 years. <laughs> White tail hunting. That sounds awful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right here. Going up the hill. Yeah, you're not alone. He's looking back. We're not going to shoot down, yeah? Just going to wait to see what else comes up with him. Get ready. There you go, there's a door behind him. There's two doors. Yeah, any of those two on the bottom, clear to go. Good. There. Nice shot. I think she went down. Lost her behind the tree. Good shot. 2.30. Took out both lungs. Her necks are so skinny. <laughs> Those, yeah, are, they don't run. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of deer out here. There's no predators and there's no winners. They reproduce all year long. There's not like really a prominent yeah. rut, is there? You know, axis deer herd unchecked can increase their population by 25, 30% each year. Yeah, geez. And well, I mean, the only thing that's really shooting them is hunters. Yeah. And then they do a little bit for USDA yeah. consumption in restaurants. Yeah, perfect if you're looking at sustainability. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, and it's like, there aren't that many residents on the night. And even, 
even though that they might hunt, it's like how many deer can a family really eat mm -hmm. a year? That's why we have, you know, folks like you coming in yeah. to hunt here on the island, putting money back into the economy. Awesome. Throw her over our shoulders and walk out of here? I'll throw it over your shoulders. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Got it? Yeah. It's gotta find the balance. There you go. It's bloody. Carrying this doe out on my shoulders might seem a little ridiculous, but their hide is so soft, I wanna preserve it just like I did my buck. And if I drug her out, the hide would surely be ruined. I like cooking, but I like to keep it simple. I've never wanted to be a culinary wizard, and luckily, to make great tasting meals, no one really has to be. I'm making my go-to dinner here, venison steak, broccoli, and sweet potatoes, plus a pineapple, which I felt was an appropriate addition for the location. So I've had access to your one time before this, so super excited to see how it cooks up. Saute those up. <laughs> Super big. It was super tender, had more of a milder taste than even whitetail, and had a twinge of sweetness to it. This is the reason that I wanted to come here, is because the meat is just super good. We'll have two axis deer in our freezer by a little over five days. So, super excited. Highly recommend. This trip exceeded all that I had hoped for. Learning about a new species in a new place from an experienced guide like Alec, who loves the land and the animals like I do, added an immeasurable value to the trip. Mix in the experience of just being in Hawaii, hanging out on the beaches, exploring the history, made this trip one I'm gonna try and replicate again soon.